I want to succeed at dropshipping. The problem is, I don't know where to start. We've all heard the basics. Find a winning product, design a clean store, create engaging ads, and run them on TikTok or Facebook. But is that enough? I think we've been lied to. In this video, I'm going to attempt to create my first successful dropshipping brand and take you with me through my ups and downs, sharing what I learned along the way. The first step is finding a product. From my failed stores, I've learned that this is the most important part of dropshipping. However, it's also the part that I usually spend the least amount of time on. Well, that changes in this video. The first place we want to check out is on the TikTok Creative Center. Under the top ads tab, you can sort by conversions and see all of the top ads on TikTok right now. This will literally let you look at all the products that are working on TikTok at the moment. I was completely blown away when I first found out about this. By the way, huge shout out to Nathan Nazareth because he's the one who I found this from. So if you haven't had a chance to check him out, do so. Right now, the best product that I found is this AirTag wallet. I think that could do really well, but we'll see. I'm gonna keep looking for a little bit. I've also been using this website called Mynea. They do a lot of the product research for you and they're just overall a great service for finding a winning product. I'm not sponsored by them, but I do have an affiliate link below if you wanna check them out. I'm also developing a TikTok account that's optimized for dropshipping products. So basically I just scroll through TikTok and every time a dropshipping product comes up, I click on it, go through the checkout process, don't actually buy the product and I just engage with the post a lot. And that way TikTok is forced to show me more of those posts. I am not taking any shortcuts this time around, so I'm gonna probably research for a whole nother week or so, and then come back to you guys with what I found. Hey, on some Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah, she tell me that that body is mine. I might pull up to your crib with a bottle of wine. All these dudes want my spot, but they can all get in line. I have decided on a product. After looking at hundreds of products, I think this one has the most potential right now. It solves a problem, has viral potential, and sells for under $50, which is ideal for TikTok. What is it, you ask? Well, it's the AirTag Wallet. I've seen so many top ads for this product, and I think I could come at it from a unique angle and make some really creative ads. There's also a little bit of a barrier to entry for this product, which is a good thing. Not only do you need to buy the product, but you also have to own an AirTag and also one of the new iPhones with the UI chip. All of the best ads I've seen have this little arrow on the iPhone which you need the UI chip for, and the older iPhones don't have that. However, I don't have a new iPhone or an AirTag, so I'll have to figure that out. I just ordered the wallet and the AirTag. In total, it came out to $72.55, which puts us back a little bit. I don't have that big of a budget for this video because frankly, I've been spending a lot of money. I'm going to Thailand in a month or so, and most of my cash is wrapped up in Airbnbs and flights. Also, the stock portfolio is down significantly. We're gonna have to figure out how to do this on a budget. Y'all, the wallet and the AirTag just arrived, and here it is. Boom. Look at that thing. That's so cool. So, we are here on the website build. I searched around for a couple of hours and came up with the name Acornia. I think that is an extremely smooth name. Acornia.com is like such a short domain. I don't know how that wasn't already taken, but I snagged it. So, I think it's a great brand name. Now, I'm going to build this website and then come back to you guys with the final product. Alright y'all, so we're back at the desk. It's a few days later and I have completely finished the website. I'm actually super happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really good. We start off on the homepage and 50% off July 4th sale. I'm actually going to change that to just 50% off summer sale because I don't know if I'm going to be able to launch this by July 4th. Then we have the Genius Wallet, Acornia. I kind of did a play on words with the Genius Wallet because it has an Apple AirTag and you know the Genius Bar at Apple. I'm not going to read everything I wrote about, but I'm just going to scroll through. Got some product photos. I priced it lower than my competitors at $29.99. That's still about a 3x markup, which is not bad. Go to full details, and then you can see my own product photos that I took. So you have that one, this one, boom, boom, boom. Then you have my description, which is never lose your wallet again. I also added a countdown timer, which I'm very proud of. That's the first time I've done something like that. It's a six hour countdown timer. It basically incentivizes the customer to check out and gives them somewhat of a sense of urgency. Boom, I've added a bunch of little gifts. I think video shows the product off way better than photo. Got one photo, a before and after. I know those are really powerful, so I decided to include, include one of those. And then a little gif of how easy it is to set up. And below that I have some upsells, which I'll also add when they're checking out. And I will add reviews, do not worry. I'm not gonna go into this without reviews. The free trial and the review service is only seven days, so I wanted to do that right before I launched. So I'm gonna do that later, but there will be reviews, do not worry. And yeah, that's about it. I'm actually really happy with how it came out. I mean, you have our logo here. It looks super clean, I think. I really like the brand colors, Acornia. It's like a more outdoorsy feeling, so I kind of went with that for the brand and the dark green. We'll see how it performs though. Overall, I'm very happy.
It is now time to film the ads. I'm with my boy Sam. Yo. And we're about to film the ads. I'm about to get a shot in the car. Um, I'm gonna set you guys up and we're gonna do that. All right, first shot down. The camera's in an extremely sketchy scenario right now, but we're about to get the shot, so. Jesus, dude. All right. <laughs> How are we doing, Joe? How are so, we doing this? Basically, I just need you to record on my phone. All right. We're gonna record the same shot in 4K 30 and 4K 60. Great word. All right, I think that should be good. Okay, so what we're doing out here, we're basically just getting some shots of the wallet. I'm gonna get like this on the backdrop of like this nice scenic lake. And um, yeah, I mean, that's about it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start just doing it. All right, and I'm just gonna try to keep in mind the location of the TikTok text. So I'm gonna have to keep the wallet kind of in the center instead of obviously putting it up near the top or putting it down on the bottom or even having it like that because you need to leave room for the TikTok text and the caption. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a couple different shots just to have some variation in shots. Yeah, let's have it like here. This is perfect. That's a beautiful shot. So now I'm gonna show the quick card access. This is the first ad we filmed. I have never owned a wallet that catches this many people's attention. This has quick card access and a ton of storage for cash and cards. But my favorite part and the part that catches everyone else's attention is the fact that it has an AirTag tracking feature. So I never have to worry about losing my wallet again. This truly is the only wallet I'll ever need. There's a sale going on right now, so if you want one, I would get one while you still can. And here's the second. Yo, Joe! Sam? Up, what are you doing in there? Uh, not much, man. I haven't seen you in a millennium. Where's my wallet? Oh no, dude. What are we gonna do? Fortunately, I have my AirTag wallet. Sweet. We found it. Here we go. All right, so we just finished up filming for the ad. I'm actually really excited with how it came out. I think it has the potential to do some real numbers. So I'm gonna head back to the house and then start editing this. But big shout out to Sam for helping Yo. me film this because <laughs> without him, it would not be possible. The ad was kind of dumb, but I think that kind of works on TikTok. So we'll see how it goes. See you guys back at the house. What's up, y'all? I'm just finishing up the edit on the ads and then I'm going to post them to TikTok. All right, you guys, I posted the first real TikTok that we're gonna run ads on top of. Now I'm gonna post the rest and then come back to you guys on the ads dashboard. The ads are done. And honestly, I'm really happy with how they turned out. My ad strategy for these is fairly simple. I'm gonna test them in just broad groups in the beginning. I'm probably gonna mainly focus on males because I think males are much more likely to buy this product, especially with the ads that I created. One of my worries though is that Father's Day is over and I think this was a big Father's Day product. So I'm sure that will affect our sales some, but hopefully that doesn't render the product obsolete. July 4th is coming up and while that's not a gift giving holiday, maybe I can leverage that to make more sales. The ads just went active. We have three of them running at $20 a day. So in total, we're spending $60 a day. I'm gonna see how those spend, maybe increase the budget to $30 a day for each of them. So have it at $90 in total. But for right now, we're gonna run with the 20. I really don't have that big of a budget right now just because I've been spending a lot of money. I think that that $20 a day will at least be enough to get us some initial sales and hopefully get the ball rolling. Y'all, I don't know what is happening right now. I just went to check our ads manager and it says we have two conversions. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh my God, I am so excited. I haven't checked my Shopify dashboard yet, so we'll see if these are actual conversions or not, but in total we've spent $24 so far, 3,000 impressions, 10 clicks, and two conversions. That is pretty good, so I don't know. Ooh, so. Let's check. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, my heart is racing right now. <laughs> I'm just, I, I hope that, that we actually made some sales. That would be awesome. Go ahead and log into Shopify. <laughs> yes! Let's go! Two sales, $54.97. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> I, I cannot believe that this is real. Oh my god. What the heck? Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. 
That is such a relief. That's really like the first real sales I've gotten just from running ads. I've never gotten sales before. Damn, that hit me. That hit me hard. I, I don't even know what to say. I'm just like so thankful. I guess now we just have to scale these ads. I'm gonna go back to TikTok really quick. So it looks like it's not updating right away, but if they are profitable, I might as well just raise the budget, right? Do a little bit of vertical scaling. I'm gonna just double it and see what happens. We go from 20 to 40. This is probably like not even a big deal to you guys, you know? But like, to me, this is like huge. Like this is huge. I'll catch you guys. <laughs> Bro. We just got another order. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my gosh. So I guess the uh, raised budget is probably working then. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm just looking at my ads and it looks like the second ad is performing significantly better than the experimental one I tried. We've got in four sales from that one at a cost of around $31 and the other one I've spent $8 on and I've gotten no sales and only three clicks where the others have gotten 18 and 16. So that means the click through rate is way lower and the cost per click is way higher. So we are going to turn off that one. I think that first ad was a complete fail. However, these other ads are not. Let's go, I'm like still blown away. I added another ad group, which is basically focused on wallets. Um, that's the only thing that it's focused on, um, but yeah. So let's keep going. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. All right, everyone. So it is the next day and we are at the results. In total, I spent $70 on ads. After a certain point, they just weren't profitable anymore and I decided to stop them. They also actually got disapproved before I had the chance to stop them, but I was planning to stop them today anyway. This is what the final ads looked like. In terms of other expenses, we had around $40 in product costs, and then obviously I had to buy the domain as well. I'm still on my free trial for Shopify, so I haven't had to pay that yet. Now let's get into the juicy stuff. How much did I actually sell? In total, I had four sales coming out at $114.95. That is amazing. Oh my God, I'm like blown away by that, and I could not be more thankful. Please let me know in the comments what you think I could have done better. Those comments honestly help me so much and I really appreciate you writing them. If you want to see my last dropshipping challenge then click right here. Thank you guys and have a great day.